Who really killed Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa? The coup plotters of January 15, 1966, particularly Major Ife Ajuna or the agent of the government of Major Johnson Thomas Aguironsi. In this video, we will take a critical look at the controversial circumstances surrounding the death of the first and only Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria during the January 15, 1966 coup, led by Major Chukuma Kaduna Nzeogu. Hello, hello, he's Plus. Welcome back to another video. Gabriel here. Please take a moment to smash the like button on this video and subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. Just hit the red button down below. Thank you. The January 15, 1966 coup claimed the lives of so many prominent politicians and many top military officers at the time. Details on this coup can be found in the video in the card here and in my description. You can check it out after this video. Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa was born in December 12 in modern-day Bauchi state in the northern Nigerian protectorate. Balewa's father, Yakubu Danzala, was of Jere ethnicity and his mother, Fatima Ina, was of Jere and Fulani descent. Abubakar Tafawa Balewa was the first prime minister of Nigeria after it gained independence. In 1957, the NPC, Northern People's Congress, won the plurality of votes in the Federal House of Representatives and Balewa became the Chief Minister and designated Prime Minister. As part of his plans to unify the country towards the move for independence in 1960, he formed a coalition government between the NPC and the NCNC, led by Namdi Azikiwe, and also invited the Action Group. The 1957 cabinet was constituted as an all-party cabinet. Even though Awolowo, the leader of Action Group, who was the premier of the Western region, was skeptical of the plan, the National Executive Committee of Action Group Party, however, endorsed the national government. Consequently, Ayo, Rosiji, and Samuel Akintola were nominated by the party. During his period, Balewa developed a close relationship with K.O. Mbadiwe from NCNC and Akintola from Action Group. Balewa retained the post of Prime Minister of Nigeria when Nigeria gained independence in 1960 and was re-elected in 1964. He served his term as Prime Minister from 1957 until he died in 1966 after the bloody coup of January 15. He was overthrown and murdered in a military coup on 15 January 1966, as were many other leaders, including his old companion, Sir Amado Bello. The circumstances of his death still remain unresolved, which is the subject of this video. His body was discovered at a roadside near Lagos six days after he was ousted from office. Balewa was buried in Bauchi State. News of his assassination spurred violent riots throughout northern Nigeria and ultimately led to the bloody counter-coup of July 1966. There has been unending controversy over the circumstances surrounding the death of the first and only Prime Minister of Nigeria. On August 5, 2010, Chief M.T. Mbu, former Nigeria High Commissioner to London, sparked off even more controversy when he claimed that Balewa died of asthmatic attack. He however tendered an apology to the family of Tafawa Balewa when his interview generated unexpected outcry across the country. In a rejoinder to Chief M.T. Mbu's claims, Chief Femi Fani Coyote wrote, It is nothing but historical revisionism. It is simply not true to say that Ife Ajuna did not kill Tafawa Balewa and that the man just died of an asthma attack after being abducted. The man was shot and his body was left to decompose. It is not true to say that there was no autopsy report. There was. After the body was found, it was taken to loot and an autopsy was conducted by the head of the pathology department in that hospital. The findings were that he had been shot to death. There was also a formal investigation into the matter, which was conducted by the special branch department of the British police and they produced a report which confirmed the fact that Balewa had been shot by Ife Ajuna. However, in a Daily Times newspaper report of January 23, 1966, on his experience of January 21, an eyewitness young reporter at that time, Aremu Shegun Osoba, who later became the governor of Ogun State, wrote, 
About 220 yards from mile 27 on the Lagos Abiokuta Road, I saw the dead body of the former Prime Minister Alaji Abubakar Tafawa Balewa and what appeared to me to be the body of Chief Festus Okotiebo on Friday evening. I got there with a friend Titus Shokanlu about 7 p.m. that Friday and saw the two bodies placed in a ditch by the roadside. First, I saw Chief Okotiebo's body stripped naked with face placed downwards with maggot crawling around it. There was a little stripe of stripped pyjamas left on his right leg. About four yards away was Alaji Balewa's body. He was placed by the side of a kola nut tree in a sitting posture. He had a snow white toga, a part of which was wrapped over his head. No marks of bullets on both bodies. I saw the head of Chief Okotiebo badly battered. While the body of Alaji Balewa was still fresh, that of Chief Okotiebo was swollen and in a decomposed state. Not far from the scene is Owode village. From the quoted news report, it may be convenient to conclude that Balewa died of causes other than gunshot. However, in September 2010, Chief Aremu Shegun Osoba claimed in an interview on Vanguard newspaper that Balewa was either killed on 21st of July 1966, that is, six days after the coup or the day before. He said, Yes, Balewa's body was a fresh one. It could be that day, January 21, 1966, or overnight, that the body was put there. There were no signs of gunshot on Tafawa Balewa's body. Shegun Osoba, however, believed that Balewa's death may have been caused by the people in government. He said, The death of Tafawa Balewa may have been influenced by elements in government who wanted to cover certain things up and now had to put his body on the same spot with Okotiebo so that the story would be that the copies put the two bodies there. I have reason to believe that there are some games played by some people in government who had a hand in it. So what do you think about this? Have your say in the comment section. Please note that the views expressed here are not that of his poor media. Click this video here for more on the coup of January 15, 1966. Don't forget to smash the like button on this video and leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe and enable notification so you will not miss our future uploads. Thank you very much for watching. Peace to you and to Nigeria. I will see you in the next video.